Hindi ko alam. Hindi ko narinig. Kanya rin ko lang narinig. Cesarium will... Ano, basa ko lang po, pero hindi po gano'ng familiar. Cesarium? Hindi ko alam yun. Sa ano? Sakit yan sa saging. What? I don't know. Ano ma? Lugar man yun. Katie Thurnam, turn him up! Ano po, Cesarium ma? Uh, banana plays a very important role in the agricultural economy uh, in the Philippines, especially in Lava region. Uh, among all the food crops, it composed around 90% of the total production of fruit crops. Uh, in 2015, it reached about 3 million metric tons, the whole banana production. Five years ago, it all started with granin. Then Typhoon Pablo came last December 4, 2012. 14,000 hectares of banana plantation, that's about 18% of the country's total production, have been destroyed by Typhoon Pablo in Mindanao. Pinaka-apektado ang mga sagingan na pinagmumula ng kabuhayan ng maraming residente sa New Bataan sa Compostela Valley. We undergo rehab because they are all destroyed by the typhoon. Then during the rehabilitation, we cannot identify anymore which are fusarium infested plants. So as we go on cutting, 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 we spread the fusarium. It distributed to the whole 17.5 hectares. Talagang wala to. One time na na fusarium ito. Kaya meron lang pag merong isa dito, sunod-sunod yan. Pag may kwan, fusarium. The work of the Fusarium virus, they are plugging the xylem of the banana. We are classified as race 4, the highest infection of Fusarium. The first appearance that it is infected with Fusarium well, the iris of the older leaves. Pag na cut yung, uh, when you cross section the, the basal portion of the plant, so you will see the yung brownish discoloration on the dun sa bani. So it starts with the outermost bunny or the bract. That's why if it is fusarium wilt, it's the low it's the lowest leaf that would show the symptom first. Sa Philippines, dalawang rasa ang na record. Ang nauna ay race one na na discover or na record doon sa Eupilus banyos. Ito ay naginfect sa Latundan, doon sa Dos Banyos at Kalamba. Dito sa Davao, parehong rasa, race 1, at sumira siya ng mga 13 hectares ng uh, Latundan, dito banda sa Toril, Davao City. Tapos itong taong 2005 hanggang 2007, mayroon yung parang kakaibang rasa dahil ito ay mabilis na umaatake at saka uh, malawak. Ito ay na-confirm na bagong rasa, ang kinatawag na tropical race 4, ang pinaka-destructive na race ng fusarium. Tropical race 4 is a soil-borne fungal pathogen. So pag sinabi namin pathogen, this is a disease causing microorganism. Fusarium wilt or Panama disease is a vascular disease, meaning it destroys the the vascular system, the xylem, we call it the xylem vessels. It's just like uh, tubes, no? tubes so through which nutrients from the soil and water is transported up. Then uh, water ups, uptake and translocation is obstructed. So that would result to the primary symptom, the wilting. Ang mahirap dito sa fusarium, dahil soil born siya, nakatira siya sa lupa, kung wala yung saging, ibig sabihin buhay pa rin. Kahit 30 years pa, na walang saging, buhay pa rin yung kanyang similya. Halimbawa, hindi ka tatanim ng saging for 5 years, pagtanim mo, andyan na ulit, dadami na naman yung amag. Kahit minsan uh, nakakabunga pa, pag naapiktuhan siya, hindi na talaga mag-qualify for export kung makakabunga pa man. Or minsan namamatay na yung saging bago pa man ma-attain yung commercial maturity na tawag. Papatayin niya yung buong saging. Ngayon, madali siyang magkalat sa mga plantasyon dahil nasa lupa siya. Pwede siyang madadala sa uh, lupa, sa mga footwear, 
sa tubig na contaminated. Itong mga hayop, pwede din magpakalat nito pag dumaan sila sa contaminated na area. Ang pinakamabilis na paraan para siya magkalat ay floodwaters na nangyayari dito sa Davao. Ito yung pinakamahirap na paraan. Pag andyan na siya, hindi natin siya totally ma-eradicate. Tanggapin na natin dyan talaga siya, pero marireduce lang natin. VAM plays a role in the recovery of infected plants. Uh, for disease suppression, it's more of trichoderma channel. So we have to put this together, then added the fertilizer, the organic fertilizers, and we will see what will, ha what will happen. So we, we expect a better result. VAM penetrates into the roots. It will colonize. It will get inside the roots, the fine roots, yung feather roots ng plants. It was formulated as inoculant sa soil. And they call it a biofertilizer, but actually, hindi siya fertilizer. So what VAM does is parang extension siya noong roots ng plants. So it will increase the water absorptive capacity of the roots. Not only that, but including the nutrients. So it will be raking that towards the plant. It works well when soil is not very fertile. That's why we are uh, right now uh, trying different delivery systems and you know that the the age of the plant when they should be applied and the manner by which they will be applied. That is our ongoing uh, studies with our students. My results now, but we have to validate. We have to find it out if it is really consistent. We only depend on the harvest of the banana for five years already. This farm is purely banana. Suddenly, it turns to the red line of the fusarium, so that would mean all our livelihood had gone down. Malaki na nga yung pusaryo. Tapos sabi ko, hinto lang siro natin ito. <laughs> Malulugi tayo. Kasi kami, tuloy-tuloy lang. Paniniwala namin sa Panginoon, masol pa ito. Maraming pupunta dito na mga iba-ibang tumutulong sa amin na ganito gawin, ganito. Pagpasok ko dito, lahat ng saging, nagka dilaw na, dilaw. Halos-halos, kunti na lang uh, bilhin sa berde. Panama daw, Panama. Nagkaroon ng Panama. Yung sa Pusarium, siyempre, ang production natin, apektuhan din. Sa, yung sa small farmers, tumaas naman siya. This is being affected by their large farms kasi mayroon naman silang mga technologies how to control that one. So, sa production, hindi masyado siya makikita natin yung effect kasi kasali kasi dito yung one, commercial farms. Pero sa mga small farms, sigurado, pag hindi nila makontrol yung disease, apektado talaga yung production nila. Mahirapan kami kasi wala na kaming papasok ang tarbaho. Kuan, gi-supportaran mong yapon mo sa mong amo. Bisaga may rami ang mo ang kuan, marbis, diyan na asilduan yapon mo nila. Kuan, produsyan mo nila o para pang kuan mo pang unso mo. Wala po may nawad na nung pag-asa kahit kuan. Ang kuan, amo, dala po sa baga-baga ng mga mga pag-ampo. Sa liling ko po may salawa kuan, kinoo. Pumimilain kuan, pumimilain kasaligan kay ang gino o magiging pinakagamanan. Gusto namin, kasi marami kaming tao, tauhan, gusto namin na ituloy ang, para ituloy ang laban ba dito sa Pusate? We know that in solving problems like this, we just do not have to address the, the disease problem, but we have to address the plant health as well. We are getting uh, good results. This is the, what we did after the, the experiment with the DOSD Picard. Uh, our students, plant pathology major students, are involved in uh, these uh, research activities as their thesis. Ang isang project ng funded by DOSD Picard, pagpili ng variety na may resistance sa posarium. So, nag-screen sila, nagpili something like siyam ang inumpisan or pito, tapos nakapili ng dalawa. They brought to us two varieties, the GCTCB219 and the 218. They call it as the resistant variety. But we found out that this 219 is really resistant. Unlike the 218, they have 
a chance of 10 to 15 percent infection. We are so excited, so we just plant and plant. They give us 1,500 seedlings per grower. So that would mean because we have four growers, we receive 6,000. Magkakaiba sila ng yung tinatawag na horticultural characters. No? Yung kanyang uh, hand ng 219 ay hindi kasing Tawag, tawag namin doon wild fingers. So, mahirap pag-handle during packing. Yung 218 naman ay medyo kahawig ng ating brand name. Yan yung Cavendish natin na popularly planted dito sa Davao. At saka, malaki yung buwag niya. Kaya lang, tataas ang inoculum. Ito ay bibigay din. Tataas din yung infection. They will stand. They will stand in the infection of sarium. So, granin will die and it, it will give production. So we have uh, started uh, with Technodemo Farms. We have only initiated it. Uh, we have our memorandum of agreement with uh, some banana group, with one banana group uh, in Tagum City, and uh, we submitted another proposal, but this time it will be with Lakatan, utilizing our research results. It is our uh, desire now that whatever technology that we have generated will really be brought to the farmer's field. Nagdudulot ng malaking impact sa banana industry dito sa Pilipinas. Yung buhay namin is parang wala ng kulay kasi... So in terms of agriculture, yung sa akin, talaga hindi dapat yan mawala. Madi-disappoint kasi yan talaga yung, ano, kumbaga, international eh. Matulog, para managinip ng saging. <laughs> Magway saging, wala lang. So, every day makukakao na na. Hindi na ako kakain kasi wala na yun. <laughs> Kada linggo, meron na kaming 300 boxes, 300 to 400 boxes. Wala talaga kami, naghanap kami ng pera para sa kanila. Every 15, 15 of the month, yung sweldo nila. Nakakaraos naman. With this kind of standing, we, we speculate, no, it will be fully planted and will be in the full production. We expect even to start the full production by 2017. At least we can see the bright future of this banana plantation after that. Ina recommend din, especially by the Department of Agriculture, crop rotation. So usually they give corn, corn to farmers in heavily infested areas. So she, I think she is very successful. So success with the use of this uh, available, uh, you know, the, uh, the research results will really depend on the adapters. So maybe more training and uh, change in attitude and willingness to, you know, spend. Yun kasi minsan gusto lang natin malaking kita, ma malaking harvest, ayaw naman gumasto, no? Hindi naman pwede sa saging yun. From the very low sal salary, we just started our increase last December for them. When we are in the red line of the infestation of the, of the Panama, or the Fasarium wealth, uh, the salary goes down to 170 pesos per day, and that's too low for a Filipino to live, but they survive until now. We keep on increasing. Hopefully, two years from now, we'll be in the standard according to the, according to the standard by law.